Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joel Tavares here. You're watching Dual Shockers TV on DualShockers.com. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Xbox Smart Glass. The application just came out for Android, so I figured it'd be a great time to give you guys a tour, uh, see what it's all about. Uh, so let's open up the app right here. So uh, as you'll notice, when it, once it signs into my Xbox account, immediately it, it recognizes that we're on the same network. And uh, on the screen there, you'll actually see uh, Smart Glass pop up telling you that, that it has connected and that the phone and the Xbox are now one and in sync. So once that pops up, at least we know that, that we're on. There it is, it's on the screen. So now uh, I'll just give you guys a quick tour. This is uh, your home, shows all your recent stuff. So you see, you see you got Dishonored, I'm doing my Halo 4 review, Internet Explorer app. HBO Go. Um, one cool thing about the app though, it does give you a, like a little tutorial to, to show you how to use it. But um, So here we've seen this before, this is in the Xbox Companion app. It just shows your, uh, shows your, your avatar, your friends, your messages, beacons, all that stuff. Here we got the recents list and on the last page a, discover, uh, a little discovery uh, area where you'll be able to take a look at different uh, movies and games and uh, apps, uh, Gangnam Style, obviously that's great. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go back and uh, look around real quick. Let's take a look at some of the controls here. So for the, the 360 dashboard, so this is one of the cool functions of uh, Smart Glass. So once we bring up our remote, you'll notice you get the Xbox B, X, Y. A is just a middle press, but you can actually swipe around uh, all, your, all your screens on the screen as well. So it's, it's, it's actually really smooth, a lot smoother than what I thought it was going to be. Um, it, it feels great and um, you can access anything you want. Also, let's say you want to bring up an app really quick, I'll just back out of that. We'll uh, go back to home. Um, let's say HBO Go, for example, if I want to bring that up, I can literally just tap it and it'll say, play on the Xbox. We hit it and it's starting. So it's a, a slight delay, but it does bring it up, um, which is pretty nice though. It's, 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 it's just as intuitive, I guess, as using a physical controller. Um, as, as long as you know where you want to get to, you can pretty much get to it quickly and efficiently using the phone. Um, but we all know what HBO Go looks like, so there's no need to take a look at that. Uh, once it boots up, I will back out to the dashboard. But um, again, the same, the same moving around though that you're going to get on the controller as well. Same, same functionality that you'd see on the, uh, on the main Xbox home screen, but we'll back out of that. And uh, let's go back home and let's open up a Internet Explorer because that's a big deal right now with the uh, with the Xbox updates let's open that app and what's cool about it you don't have to back out to the dashboard to open another application um, once you do your change on the on Smart Glass it will shut down the app that's currently running and it'll start up the new app um, now the reason I want to bring up Internet Explorer is because um, you know using it with a controller is one thing using it here though it's a whole nother ball game because now you got your keyboard on screen. You don't have to mess around with the stupid controller anymore. Click done. Look how quick that is. Uh, let's check out my favorite website. Let's see what we got here. Still shockers. Uh, I totally messed that up. Uh, the browser. I mean, it, it's it is convenient uh, to get the keyboard on here. As you guys already know, typing on a screen using a video game remote is probably one of the most annoying things you can do but here as you can see it's quick it's efficient um, Internet Explorer 10 uh, again it's, it's IE whatever but at least it's the best solution that, that Microsoft's come up with for the 360 but honestly this functionality you even get the you get the pinch to zoom as well it's it's pretty sweet I, I can't lie because um, one it, it's rendering pages the way they should be rendered um, and just the integration where you have the ability to, to do the pinch to zoom, you can do uh, copy paste, all that crazy stuff that you can do on a regular computer, you can do it on here. Um, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with Smart Glass overall, and Internet Explorer is probably gonna be the best way to browse the web on a home console. It, it's, it, it kills what's going on on the PS3. The only thing, uh, what, what Sony has is the tab functionality, which you don't have here, not through Smart Glass at least, but um, just how intuitive everything is is really, really nice so I'm gonna back out of that up oh, back out of the app it'll sign in now what's cool though is that you can get out jump right back in it'll instantly connect you'll so you'll notice on screen it'll say smart glass uh, connected again so you don't lose any of that let's click home here Let me see. 
Oh, I am home. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is, again, this is early on. It's an early look, but this is Xbox Smart Glass application uh, running on Android. It's smooth as hell, and it does, it works as advertised. So if this is just a taste of what's to come with this functionality, I'm pretty excited, and uh, you should be too. So that's Xbox Smart Glass for Android.